Asian men are being fetishized right now, and I'm all for it. I want to be fetishized. I'm so glad because nobody wanted us for a very long time. We were not cool, but all of a sudden, Korean drama and anime comes out, and everybody wants a piece of us. Now we're the thing? What? Oh, let us have this. Like Asian women have been fetishized for a very long time, so I get what they're going through, but we have not. So let us Asian men go through it for a while. You know, like, uh, so you want to hook up with me because I look like One Punch Man or I remind you of a young version of the old man from Squid Games? I'll take that. It's all good. Whatever. Okay. Let us go through the fetishization process for a few decades. And then, you know, like people wanting to use us for like, oh, we want you for the thing because you remind us of another thing. And then later we'll join you after like three decades of this and, and we'll be like, get to know us for us. Asian men are not things. We are people. But right now, let us be things. Call me Opa. So this is a re-upload video from another channel. Um, there's always, there's, there's um, a lot of uh, those captions and reaction emojis. I did not add that, it's from the original video. I think he's just a comedian. He's obviously joking. But like I said, on this channel, we're about getting women. So for this guy, what I would do is I would just get an eyebrow transplant and get a better eyebrow and uh, go from there. Just an eyebrow transplant and a better body, I think he would improve just by doing those two things. Um, after the eyebrow transplant and the body, what he can do is get the hair. But after these three things, I really think he has reached his limit. But like I always say, an improvement is an improvement and an improvement is better than no improvement. So if I was this guy, that is what I would do. And he's 5'10", so he has the height. He just needs to fix his face a little bit.